In this video, we will explain what pneumatic cylinders are and how they function. A pneumatic cylinder, or air cylinder, is a mechanical device that uses compressed air to generate linear motion. Pneumatic cylinders are commonly applied as two types of pneumatic cylinders. Single acting cylinder, which move in one direction using air pressure and return via a spring. and double-acting cylinder, which use air pressure for motion in both direction. Solenoid valves are essential for controlling pneumatic cylinders, so in future videos, we will try to explain they. in a single acting cylinder. Air pressure is applied to one end of the cylinder to extend or move the piston. Once the pressure is released, a spring or a gravitational force retracts the piston to its starting position. A double-acting cylinder is a type of pneumatic actuator that uses air pressure to perform work in both directions of the piston stroke. Air enters one end of the cylinder to extend the piston, while air is released from the opposite end, allowing the piston to retract. The same principle applies when the piston retracts Pressure is applied to the opposite side. The main components of a pneumatic cylinder include one cylinder body, the main structure housing the moving parts, usually made of aluminum, steel, or other durable materials. Two piston. The piston is pushed by the compressed air from one side, creating linear motion. Three rod. A long rod with a polished surface is connected to the piston for in caps. These caps, located at both ends of the cylinder body, seal the cylinder and provide attachment points for mounting. Five piston seals. Seals are placed around the piston to prevent air from escaping between the piston and the cylinder wall. They ensure that the air pressure effectively moves the piston. Six rod seat. These seals at the rod's exit point in the head end cap prevent air leakage and cylinder contamination. Seven bearings. Bearings facilitate the rod's movement by minimizing friction and wear as it extends and retracts. Eight inlet and exhaust port. Ports allow compressed air to enter and exit the cylinder. 
In a single acting cylinder, the spring is a critical component responsible for returning the piston to its initial position after it has been extended under air pressure. Thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification.